In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use a layered texture node in Maya. Right now, I have a simple scene with a box, and it has a layer texture node assigned to it. Well, assigned to the shader, which has been assigned to it. Now, right now, I have a brick texture, or pattern, and I have the text sitting on top of that brick pattern. And this works very similar to how layers work in, say, Adobe Photoshop or GIMP. So if you're familiar with this, with that, this should all be very simple. Now, one very important thing when working with layered textures in Maya is that you have to save your images with transparency if they have them. Now, this brick here, there's no transparency. There's no reason I should have to see through this brick. But for this text, I have all this space around the text and in between the text. And Maya needs to know that that space isn't supposed to be saved. That can be just discarded and hidden so we can see the layer, which in this case is the brick, underneath it. So we have to save to a format in which that the computer, or Maya, can read. And those formats are PNGs, TIFFs, um, Adobe Photoshop's native file format. All of those can save transparency, and I'm sure a few others. But for this tutorial, I'll be just using a TIFF. And when saving your TIFFs, you just check as copy and click Save. I'll be replacing it. And make sure you have checked Save Transparency and Discard Layers. Click OK. And now this has been saved with transparency. As for the brick, just save it like you would any other texture. It's no, There's nothing special about it. It's just the normal texture. No transparency. It's the background or base layer. Now in Maya. I'll blow up this hypershade a bit. Here's what our final result will look like. We'll have the brick tiled underneath the text. Now to set this up, I'll delete the previous setup and start one from scratch. First, we create a layered texture, which actually, this thing outputs information just like a file node would. But the only difference is you can have layers of file nodes, basically, or layers of Maya texture nodes, or layers of any type of node you want. It just lets you layer them on top of them, just like you would in Adobe Photoshop. So, to create new layers, simply click in blank space, and to delete layers, click on the X. Now, I'm going to add two files, one for the text and one for the background. I'll put the text in this one. Let me just load it up. And I'll put the brick in this one. So file node 2 has a brick and file node 1 has the text. Now to put this text on the layered shader, we all we have to do is middle mouse button drag and drop it into this box. And that's it. It's now been added as a layer. But it's right now underneath this green layer, which is the default layer. So we can just delete that green layer now by clicking on the X. So now we want to add a brick underneath it. So we just drag and drop it. Remember, the leftmost is the topmost layer and the rightmost is the bottommost layer. And for each of these files, we have blending options. Now, right now, file 1 is set to blending mode over. That means it sits on top of any layers or layer, layer or layers beneath it. And since file 2 is a very bottom texture and doesn't have an alpha channel or transparency, it doesn't really matter what it has. We could set the blending mode to none. It doesn't make a difference. There's nothing underneath it. And another thing I should mention is, as you can see, Maya automatically creates a connection between the color and that image's alpha channel to this forced layer in our layered, layered texture. So now, if we were to render the scene... Wait, one last thing we have to do. We have to make sure... One second, let me just drag everything back in here. That our... Lambert, which is assigned to this wall, has this layer texture node assigned to that Lambert. So to quickly do that, middle mouse button click and drag the layered shader onto the Lambert and connect it to the color. And now click render. If we want to tile the brick background a little bit more, we can go to the brick background's place 2D texture 
and set the repeat value to 5, which essentially tiles it 5 times. There we have it, our finished image. Thanks for watching this tutorial.